Hey, this is Kat from Red Mountain Shaman, and I share shamanic wisdom through dreams, visions, nature, synchronicities, intuition, channeling, art, music, photography, and shamanic journeys. Welcome back to my channel. I usually make videos every week, but I've been going through some intense ascension symptoms and it's been difficult to have the energy. But I will go over some of the spiritual experiences I've had over my time off. The first thing I wanted to share is a vision I had, and it was like a quick flash. And all it was was a shower curtain coming down. But not only the shower curtain came down, but the entire pole holding it up also came down. I think this probably has to do with the veil thinning and not only corrupt structures being brought to light as the curtain comes down, but the entire foundation that's holding them up being dismantled. I also had a vision of a mountain lion while I was in meditation, and it feels like it was a spirit animal medicine, and what stood out to me when I looked it up was that the cougar is a very solitary animal, and it's also a bridge between the worlds of spirit and matter, which in my opinion perfectly describes one of the major roles of a shaman. Then I was asking for protection over the area in which I live, and I saw rainbow grids of light. We also had two double rainbows over the last two weeks. I also had a visit from an incredibly benevolent white dragon, who was one of the first beings who came to me when I started doing shamanic journeys. It may sound strange to think that dragons are real, but I just think they're in other dimensions. He showed me the rainbow shimmer on his scales, and he said that he was the guardian of the land. And the last thing I intuitively started feeling a couple weeks ago is that the scorched Pacific Island scenario may become a catalyst for exposing corruption, as well as bringing people together in unity. So please don't forget the people who are suffering there, and please share their story if you feel, feel called. Finally, I have been getting the nudge from the ancestors, specifically the Paiute shamans known as Wokava and Watsawab, and they have a message they want to bring forth. And this is what they said. Dearest daughter of the sun, we visit you this day in order to share with you our perspective on current world events. It is not an easy time for humanity the earth is purging old structures and paradigms. She is heaving in sorrow. But at the same time, as she releases this sorrow, she is also filling back up with higher frequencies in order to bring forth a more beautiful tomorrow. The golden light of a new dawn approaches. Stand in your divine power and remember who you are. The dragon races are here to assist and protect you. These are higher seventh dimensional beings who bring forth codes of light and loving frequencies in order to shift your earth plane into a higher vibration. This is why when you encounter them, you are filled with bliss and joy. Make sure you are always doing your morning spiritual practice of connection and protection so you are always going about your day with your intentions intact and make similar intentions before you sleep at night so that as you enter the dream state, your intentions are also intact and strong. There is nothing we cannot get through together as heaven and earth combine forces to bring about the change that is so desperately needed on Mother Earth. Call on the ancestors, angels, ascended masters, and the great spirit so that you are not alone in this final battle we are at your beck and call and are happy to assist you in any way we can. Remember that the forces of nature are also real and you can speak with the elemental beings to bring about your highest good. All beings have souls. Some of these souls are just disconnected from the Great Spirit and they have forgotten who they are. But more of humanity is starting to lose their amnesia and remember how powerful they are. The ones who are having trouble remembering their divine self struggle because of layers of toxicity, including food, environment, pharmaceuticals, technology overload, injustice, 
enslaving working environments, survival mindset, deception, and indoctrination from false institutions. They will find themselves at a crossroads. They have come to a fork in the road. As our people have taught, there are two worlds, and we have come to the splitting of the worlds. Some will choose to continue down the path of toxicity, and others will yearn for something more pure and organic. As events continue to unfold on the world stage, these layers of manipulation will start to become more visible, and people will start to realize that the systems that have been governing them are no longer viable. So, as you have seen in your vision, not only is the curtain coming down to reveal these corrupt systems and the people running them, but the entire framework will be collapsing. There will be some who refuse to see and believe in what is revealed, but make no mistake, there is no longer the frequency to hold corruption in place. It is because of the solar activity bombarding your planet that all darkness is being brought to the surface for all to see. Those who wish to continue experiencing lower densities will be playing out their karma and soul's desire in places that serve their choice. Those who are ready to move into higher timelines will also be doing so in places that serve their choice. You create your own destiny and reality according to your soul's desire. Nobody is ever forced to evolve beyond their capability, and all are given the time and experiences they desire to evolve at their own pace. Within the new earth, we see song and dance. We see bliss and love and harmony. We see abundance. We see beautiful beginnings that have been thwarted for many eons of time. The ancestors look forward to ceremony with you, we look forward to assisting you in bringing heaven to earth. We sing our songs of peace and whisper our poetry of renewal and restoration into your ears if you but open your hearts and listen. We offer you hope and guidance. We offer you love and encouragement. Keep going, brothers and sisters of the light. You are almost there. Do not forget each other in need. Band together and unify as the old guard is switched out. Lift each other up in any way the Great Spirit guides you to. It's going to be a bumpy ride, but hang on tight. The road will eventually smooth out again, and you will celebrate together as you lift yourselves out of the darkness and out of the old world and walk into the horizon of something so beautiful you cannot even fathom it. We send you our love this day and always. We are Wokava and Watsawa, Paiute shamans of the West and shamans of the spiritual dimensions of pure love. You are us, we are you, and so it is. Thanks for being here, and if you'd like to be notified of my videos, please press the notification bell and like, subscribe, and if you'd like to converse with me, just leave a comment below. Thanks. We'll talk to you soon.